Hey guys. I hope you're all good. I'm okay. I'm great, actually. And it's been a long time since I've done a video. I know, it's been a while. I haven't changed the setting. <laughs> yeah, but I thought I'd do this one different because this is a different topic, of course. And um, it's taken me a very long time to get here to be able to share this. I promise you all, I did like three videos before this. And listen, every time I go to post it, it's like, no, no, don't post it, don't post it, don't post it. So this time I'm posting it. This, I'm posting this one, y'all will get this. But I wanna to talk to you guys about something that's been, uh, that's taking or had a very significant role in my life. Um, and in, in, in a lot of different ways. You know, um, I grew up having atopic dermatitis, which is eczema, but it's the severe form of eczema. And, um, for those that have it or ha have had it as severe as I've had it from a child, it can follow you into your adulthood. For me, it did. Um, last year, I literally just had a flare up and oh my goodness. I will show you guys the pictures. Be warned. They are, they're not cute. But this is what happened to me. As a matter of fact, I still have the scarring, if you guys could see, on my legs right here down here where the um, eczema was and um, or where the flare actually affected it literally affected my whole leg all of my inner thighs everywhere and it was so bad to the point where I could literally not walk walk at times um there was literally a few weeks I had to stay at home to keep my feet up because it was that bad it was horrible um yeah and that's something that I've I grew up with um, amazingly during my young adulthood and teenage years it wasn't as bad but when I was a child child like primary school preschool it was really bad and um, yeah I had moments but the reason I'm talking about it or letting you guys know about it is because it didn't just affect me physically you know and when I say it affected me physically listen the level of pain I, I can't express it in words it was very painful it burns it itches it's a consistent itch and burn that you cannot you cannot quench it I don't know if anybody's ever experienced if you out there haul at your girl let me know but it is constant and for me when I was a child it was literally all over my body when I as an adult the last one I had was literally just on my legs but as a child it was on my arms my legs my tummy didn't have it thank God and my face so thank Jesus but it was everywhere all in the back of my neck oh horrible but it affected me in a greater way than just my skin my emotions and my me my mental capacity honestly was severely impacted and not in a positive way um i grew up and a lot of people don't know this but when i was in high school especially i always and even even into my adulthood i always had this thing in the back of my mind that people just didn't like me you know um and by the way, I wrote I wrote out some stuff so I could stay on point because I have a gift of running out. I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but it's a gift. Well, somewhat. <laughs> but I can run out sometimes. I wrote some notes so I can stay on point with you guys, right? But yeah, it really affected me in, in many ways. Emotionally, mentally, it affected me. Emotionally and mentally, mentally it made me feel as though I was not, good like I always had this thing in the back of my mind that people just would not accept me that people would not like me would not appreciate me would not love me 
I, I always had this block. It was so, it's weird. And not until recently, and being an adult, I'm recognizing how I subconsciously had these beliefs about me. Like, girl, you just ain't good enough. You know, people just ain't gonna like you because you ugly. And I've had experiences where people in their ignorance, not knowing what it was, where I had to go out and where I was out with the flair or people showing it because I didn't just have a flare last year. I had a flare a few years, a couple, many, couple years ago, like when I was like 23, 24, 23, 22, 23, around there. And I went, one time I went in Subway and this guy, he was like, because my, my foot was literally inflamed, cracking, pussing. It was nasty, but I had to be out. So I was out and I was in Subway ordering food and, um, this guy was on the line, and he looked down at my foot, y'all. The guy said, Well, mother sickness, what happened to your foot? Don't get all burned up. Y'all, I, I, was, I was like, Jesus, please, God, let the earth open up and take me away. I was so ashamed. <laughs> I was so embarrassed. And it wasn't so, well, I was hiding it, of course, because I would tuck my feet away or I would like, you know, be quiet. Eh, nobody can see me if I quiet. Nobody knows. So I would do a lot of that. But he just put the announcement out there. And I was like, oh, my God. And, you know, everybody isolated, zeroed in at my feet. So that was one moment. I had a moment one time when um, I was in school. I went to Essie McPherson Junior High School and um, the guidance counselor. She, I got to school late and she came up and she saw me because I was at the back of the line. And um, I had on regular socks because I was trying to be regular, you know, trying to be like the other kids. And um, I had on socks and was not, but my skirt was short because I was short. <laughs> so short. And um, I had a, a rash at the back of my knees and um, because it, it could come in and out off and on, you know, it's minor flares, major flares, stuff like that. And it was a minor flare, but it was at the back of my knees. And um, she saw it. She said, when we finish with assembly, I want you to come to my office. And I was like, OK, now I honestly thought she was telling me to come because I was late, which and I was. So I was like, oh God, I can get in trouble because I'm late. But when I got in her office, 